Today, I'm gonna to give you a close-up look of the Lyson Wax Capping Spinner. Hi, I'm Lawrence Edison Black Mountain Honey. Welcome to another episode of No Nonsense Beekeeping. Feels like forever since I looked into any honey extraction machinery or did a video indoors. And I know over winter, I do loads of these. So I thought I'd show you my new toy, which is the Lyson Wax Capping Spinner. So in this video, I'm just gonna give you a really short overview of what the product does. I'll give you some close-ups, I'll show you how to use it, I'll talk to you about the build quality, I'll talk to you about how I'm gonna use it in my operation, and then later on in the year, I'll do another video showing me actually putting some honey through it. But I've seen one of these in operation and they are fantastic, and that's what led me to buy one of these. So disclaimers out of the way, I bought this myself, I paid the full price for it, no freebies, and all of the views 100% my own. Right, so before I show you the wax capping spinner, I'm just gonna to talk to you a little bit about what drove my decision to purchase one of these. So you may know I have a wax capping screw press in my operation at the moment. I have an automatic uncapping machine that takes all of the wax off the frames, drops down into the wax capping screw press, goes through the screw, and in the end I get two buckets. I get one which is relatively dry wax cappings, all compressed, and then I get another bucket which is mostly honey, but it does need filtering again. And at the moment, I've just been taking that honey and I've been putting it into a, a static sieve, sieving it that way. Now, I bought this wax capping spinner for two reasons. The main reason is for filtering heather honey. And I'll get onto that in a little bit. The second reason is for the secondary filtering after my honey's gone through the wax capping screw press. So I don't see these two machines as you either buy one or you buy the other. They're slightly different machines. The wax capping screw press is predominantly for taking out the majority of the wax, getting you to a point where you've got an unfiltered honey. And I think the wax capping spinner is for that final filtration to get rid of the fine particles of wax. Now you can use a wax capping spinner to decap directly into and it will take out all of the wax cappings, but I think it'll be quite a slow operation because you'll be constantly changing out that sieve. So I'll get onto the reason why I bought this wax capping spinner, and that is to filter heather honey. So heather honey, you need to prick it with needles, use a loosener, you spin it out tangentially or using a swing cage basket. And then the difficulty that I had last season was filtering it using a big static sieve. And the sieve that I've got is ginormous. It's fit for a 200 liter, capacity tank and it's about that big. So it's a really big sieve and the heather honey just used to sit on the top of it and it needed agitating to go through. So that's the reason that I bought the wax capping spinner. I'm gonna tangentially extract my heather honey and then I'm gonna run it through the wax capping spinner in order to take out all of the fine particles of wax. Right, enough of me talking on, let's show you the wax capping spinner now. So this is what the wax capping spinner looks like and it's difficult to gauge the size of it on the Abello website or on the Lyson website. It's considerably bigger than I thought it was gonna be. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. It means that the capacity is gonna be good, but I think it's useful to, to have a look at it here and I guess you can get the dimensions a little bit easier than on, on the website. Although the website does have dimensions on it, but I, I didn't think it was gonna be as big as this. So what you've got here is this is where you're gonna put in your honey and it's got a cage in there to stop anything large going in, which is really good. So you've got these catches here on the side, you just go over the top like that and then push down. Really nice solid connection, means that nothing's gonna open up when it's in operation. And to release it, just pull that off like that, opens up nicely. And then on this side here, you've got a handle and it won't let you open it while there's no power on. You need to make sure that the power's on and there's some lights down there that turn green. So you can see there now the lights are green. So then you just go straight in and you can lift it up now. If you try and do that when it's on, the lights are red and it won't let you open up. So really nice safety feature there. Then downstairs, you've got your big two inch honey gate, which can be changed out for pretty much anything. I'll probably change that out for a valve. I like to have a valve on all these things, makes it a lot easier. And then at the front, you've got your Mitsubishi electric control panel. Really do like that all of the licensed stuff have these Mitsubishi control panels. They're very, very reliable. Really are best in class in terms of electrics and reliability of the electrics as well. Really, really simple control panel as well. So you've got anti-clockwise, clockwise, and then you've just got speed as well. So you take it all up to max in the middle 
and then just stop and start in the middle there. And then you've got your mains power and you've got an emergency shut off as well. So then inside, it's a really, really simple design. You get this plastic sieve and that just completely comes out. Really nice, fine sieve. Probably quite difficult to even see that on this camera here. It's really, really fine. I'm guessing it's probably going to be around 200 microns, something like that. That just sits in this basket here. And obviously, as you can see, it's a very, very coarse mesh here. So you could use it without the basket, um, but it's not really going to take out much at all. And then obviously you've got the holes at the bottom. It's designed to work with the basket. Everything made a really nice high grade stainless steel. You can feel the quality of the stainless steel, really nice and solid. And then the mechanism is as simple as that. You drop the basket in, you close the lid, you go down here, you tell it which way you want it to go. That's the machine on now. And it just starts spinning around really, really quickly. Now that's about half speed. You can take that right up to full speed. So then all you would do is you would decant all of your honey directly in there and then it would just start filtering out at the honey gate at the bottom. And you can just keep it on a continuous loop. Just keep on pouring the honey in, pumping it out if that's how you want to do it, putting it straight into buckets. And what's going to come out of there is going to be really nice, clean honey. So there we go, it's as simple as that. I just wanted to give you a real brief overview of how that capping spinner works, how big it is, how well it's built, and what I'm going to use it for. Like I said, later on in the year, I will put some normal honey through it, I'll uncap some frames into it to show you how well it copes just uncapping directly into it, but you will need to keep on changing that basket out to ensure that it doesn't block the size of the basket, or for the purpose that I'm going to use it for, filtering heather and filtering honey that's gone through the wax capping screw press. I think it's going to be a really useful tool for me, and I'll show you the honey once it's gone in and the honey once it's gone out, and I'll show you the ability for the wax capping spinner to filter honey from small particles of wax. So there you go, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed that one. Something a little different to all of the bee videos. I know a lot of you are really interested in the honey extraction equipment. I'll say it again, paid full price for this. All the views are my own. I would recommend this product though, just for my first feelings from it. It's a really, really simple product, but I can't wait to get some honey through it and see how it performs in action. So as always, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the bell so you're notified of every video and I'll see you next time.